Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're going to look at the latest additions to the marketplace for Flight Simulator 2020, the PC version. In this video, we specifically look at the aircrafts, deliveries, and the utilities which are added to the marketplace. If you're looking for scenery add-ons or maybe missions, then look at the description of this video, which contains the links to those videos. The first one is from 2Pilot, which has released a set of livery packs. And this is the first one. It's the North America Europe wear and tear liveries. And as you can already see on the image, they are adding, I would say, wear. Like, for example, this aircraft has, has been to the uh, washing street uh, for a while, as you can see. And they did that for uh, North America based airlines, but also based on Europe airlines, right? You can see almost every airline which is active in that region has been added. Deliveries are 4K and the wear and tear textures are on the fuselage, uh, good optimization and the custom GPU textures. Deliveries are the real deal, right? So if we look at the screenshots here, we can see uh, again an Air France, which likely needs to go to the washing streets. Uh, same for British Airways. So pretty interesting package, which adds some more wear and tear to these aircrafts. Uh, so are they compatible with both A320s? Well, they say that these liveries only work on the new A320 Neo. So it's not the original one. So keep that in mind. Then the next one is for South America and Asia. Same uh, package, but different region, right? South America, Asia, and Oceania. In total, 40 liveries. So if we really go to the list, right, we can see a uh, majority of the airliners which are active in uh, South America and also a large portion of the ones which are active in Asia and Oceania. Again, the 4K textures, wear and tear texture on the fuselage, good optimization, custom GPU textures, uh, and only this one works on the A320 Neo V2, right? So the A320 V2. Then they also released a wear and tear for the retro liveries. So if you love flying a modern aircraft with but with a retro livery, right? An old delivery, then they also create a package for you. In total, it contains 42 liveries. And here we can see a list of the uh, liveries. Like we can see Aer Lingus, Aeroflot, Air Canada, Bridge Airways, Lufthansa, United Airlines, KLM, uh, well, a lot of them. Similar, I would say, specifications. 4K textures, wear and tear textures. And if we go to the screenshots, right, we can see that they added this similar one, only then the different deliveries. And if you thought that they were ready, no, they were not, because they also decided to release the wear and tear special deliveries, such as this one for Condor. Uh, so, which airliners did they treat or include in this package? Well, for example, the Brussels, less CO2, the Bridge Airways, BA, Better World. So really those special liveries, right? So really the ones which are, I'd say, not normal, but really specifically created. In total, there are 42 liveries which are included, right? So KLM 100 years, I see also. And this is what you will get, right? So Aero Mexico, really cool one. Uh, but then with some usage on the livery itself. Then... They also did something for the Boeing 7478. They released the World Liveries Pack number two. In this case, it contains 30 liveries uh, across, uh, from airlines across North America, also Europe and Asia, as well as South America and Africa and Oceania. So the whole world. Some of them are retro liveries. Some of them are liveries which are say, active in the uh, more or more modern liveries, I should say. And there's even a bare uh, aluminum one, uh, which also included. So if we look at the screenshot, we can see it, right? So it's pretty cool. Uh, so if you love flying the Boeing 7478 in Flight Simulator 2020, then this might be a package which you might want to consider. Then if we go down the list, we find the black and white analog gouges. So these are the gouges, right? Which you can see in multiple aircrafts. And if you install this package, they will be replaced by the black and white versions. So these are the aircrafts which will get those new couches if you buy this package. You can see the Cessnas, both the 152 and the 172, as well as the Grand Caravan G1000. We can see the DR400, the DV220, the DA40 TDI, uh, the Modricap, the Baron, 
G58, the Bonanza, G36, the Carry G2, the Extra 330, and the Icon A5. Uh, keep in mind, as also remembered here, is that some of the aircrafts, uh, I would say, are requiring you to have the premium deluxe version, uh, such as the Cessna C172 Classic. And this is what you will get, right? So nice uh, black and white gouges. So also looks pretty cool, I must say. Makes it was even more fun to fly uh, these aircrafts or helicopters. Before we go into another helicopter, first the Boeing 717-200 livery pack number three by FSX 300. Uh, this pack is only suitable for this specific aircraft, uh, and to be specific, you need to have the FSX 360 Boeing 717-200. There are three liveries included. Eyeball, Hawaiian Air, and TWA, and this is how it looks like, right? So if you don't have the aircraft, then you can't use this package. So it's really important that you own the aircraft before buying this package. Uh, also, it simply won't work. It's a waste of money. Then we've got Faust Kao Sim. They released the Sikari FCP aircraft, and this is a helicopter. Uh, it's, it's, I would say, part of the piston engine powered CH8 Ultra Light series and used the traditional penny farthing layout with two bladed main and tail rotors. There are some characters. The crew is only one person. The capacity is also only one person. Then here are some characteristics about the aircraft, right? Or about the helicopter, I should say. The empty weight, uh, the length, etc. And then if we look at the performance, some performance settings. So 150 km per hour. Uh, never exceed the 194 speed because likely then the, then you will damage the helicopter. Also, the rate climb and the endurance, right? So the maximum hour of hours you can fly with this helicopter. So again, two-seated aircraft developed by the Argentine rotorcraft producer Cesare SA. A uh, really nice one. Uh, there are not too many pictures uh, besides the one on the top. So let's have a look at it. You can see that multiple liveries are included in this helicopter. Uh, so if you love flying helicopters and love, love, so love flying the smaller ones, hard to say, uh, then this is one you could consider to buy. Then we're going to skip the Cardiff Airport because SoFly has been included also for a utility, which we will discuss in another video. We've got Jet Studio. They released the FA-18 Echo US Navy VFA-11 liveries. So something else that they would normally deliver, right? Because they're known for their metal liveries. In this case, they released the livery pack for the FA-18 Super Hornet. Uh, free updates, 4K textures, non, not realistic, but for entertainment only. And in total, there are 15 liveries which are included in this package. So this is how it looks like, right? So again, it's not from real life. It's just, it's for fun. So for fun in Flight Simulator, if you want to have even more fun, then you can consider to buy this package, which adds some non-real liveries for the uh, FA-18 Super Hornet. So really up to you if you want to do that. And you can see multiple ones are there. I'll not go to all of them. Then SoFly has also released a utility. It's called the OPS Brief Viewer Pro. This package brings seamless integration of SimBrief to your simulator and designed for everyone to use with ease. Simply enter your SimBrief username and then import all your fly data. So this is in addition to, I would say, the Electrolink Flight Black integration with multiple aircrafts already have. So you can consider to buy this one, but you might want to scratch your head a few times. They say it works with every, every aircraft, even if it does not come with an Electrolink Flight Black, right? That makes sense because they're having a separate window for it, which might make it a little bit less uh, realistic. Uh, so there's no need to alt up anymore, right? To load your flight plans, simply use this one, and then you can load your flight plan. You can see your flight info, your payload data, your weather information, the runway data, and the takeoff data, as well as the OFP and the en route maps. And this is how it looks like. So this could be an option if you want to buy it. I prefer to have it in the electronic flight bag or in the aircraft itself. But if you love this, then that's also fine. The good thing is that this one also works on the Xbox, which is, I would say, a large pro compared to the other ones. Then the last item already is the T33 Jet Trainer. It comes with 
11 total liveries, white, bare metal. Ace maker 1, 2, and 3, USA, Canada, Germany, Mexico, Mexico, 35th anniversary, and Greece. So if you love, I'd say, chancing yourself, then grab your helmet and strap yourself into the T33 Jet Trainer. Uh, it's developed by Inibuilds and Simrock Studios, uh, so two famous developers, I would say. Uh, and it's uh, normally used by 20 different air forces globally around the world, right? So that's in real life. Uh, it initially entered service in 1935 as the P-80 Shooting Star, and it's America's first jet fighter and a two-seat variant debuted in 1948 as the TF-80C. And that was re-designated to the T-1. No, to the T-33. So really nice uh, aircraft. So what's included? Well, there is detailed and realistic canopy covers to shield the aircraft from the elements, a tugwheel chocks and entry ladder to allow a realistic ground convict so you can climb into the uh, aircraft using a ladder. Then the engine plugs, the PTAT covers and the other ancillary elements to enable a complete walkthrough checklist, right? So this makes it really real. And this is what you will see more and more and more but you need to wait for Flight Simulator 2024 because that one has a lot of these additional functions. And even based on the release notes, if you forget to remove those PDOT covers, it will really influence the performance of your aircraft. So not in Flight Simulator 2020 yet, but you need to wait for Flight Simulator 2024, which is around the corner. Then we've got the air show smoke effects, uh, the high resolution, uh, ultra high definition PBR liveries, Authentic classic steam gaucho modern gloss cockpit options, automatic tune, radio, radio, should, should probably be radio tuning managed through the EFB for workload convenience and other cool things. So, if we look at this aircraft, then you can see it's really nicely developed. There are a lot of details on the aircraft, even the canopy cover is there, right? As you can see, uh, the wheel chocks are there. The interior also looks pretty clean, but still realistic. It looks like that you can switch between, I'd say, an old livery or an old cockpit and a new cockpit because this one had some more, say, traditional uh, instruments. As you could see, more gouges compared to less uh, electronic things. Then the smoke system is there. Also this, right? If you look at these details, right, that's what you like to see if you're buying these kind of aircrafts. Uh, although the modern look with some modern things are also cool. I think about that, right? The modern look might not be the modern look, but might be the pilot's view and the other one, the co-pilot's view. No, that's not the case. So it looks like that they allow you to choose between two cockpits, but still pretty nice one, right? So if you love to fly a jet fighter, then consider to buy this one. And with that, we're at the end of the list. So this week there are 12 new items in the uh, marketplace focusing on the aircrafts, liveries, and the utilities. So 12 new items, so have fun with it. Thanks for watching this video again. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting. And I wish you happy flying.